Did you know that our solar system has been around for approximately 4.6 billion years? Shocking, isn't it? It's a vast cosmic playground, a swirling dance of celestial bodies, all held together by the force of gravity. This grand structure of space our solar system is home to a unique ensemble of celestial bodies. It's not just about the eight planets that we commonly discuss, no, it's a marvelous cosmic orchestra, consisting of the Sun, eight planets and their respective moons along with countless asteroids, comets and other celestial bodies that orbit the Sun. Let's consider the Sun, the heart of our solar system, an enormous fiery ball of gas, constantly burning, radiating energy that sustains life on our very own planet, Earth. It's so colossal that it makes up about 99.8% of the total mass of our solar system. Then. We have the planets, each with its own unique identity, a fascinating mix of rocky bodies, gas giants, and ice giants. Each planet is a world in itself, with its own set of moons, its own atmosphere, and its own unique geographical features. But let's not forget the unsung heroes of our solar system, the asteroids, comets, and other celestial bodies. These smaller yet equally intriguing objects give us clues about the origins and the history of our solar system. They are like cosmic time capsules holding secrets of the past, and then, there are the moons, companions to the planets, each with its own tale to tell. From volcanically active moons to those with subsurface oceans, they add to the cosmic diversity of our solar system. So you see, our solar system is a lot more than just planets revolving around the sun. It's a complex, dynamic system, a testament to the beauty and diversity of the cosmos. It's a place where science meets wonder where every discovery unravels a new mystery, a new story. Now let's dive into the fascinating world of each planet, starting with the one closest to the Sun. Meet Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest to the Sun. Mercury, just over 3,000 miles in diameter, is a tiny celestial body, yet it's packed with unique features that make it stand out. Due to its close proximity to the Sun, Mercury experiences extreme temperature fluctuations, swinging from a scorching 800 degrees Fahrenheit in the daytime to a frigid minus 290 degrees at night. Mercury's surface is a sight to behold, scarred with countless craters from meteor impacts, a testament to its lack of protective atmosphere. Interestingly, a year on Mercury is just 88 Earth days, making it the swift planet indeed. But don't let its close relationship with the Sun fool you. Mercury, despite its blazing days, is not the hottest planet in our solar system. That surprising title goes to our next planet. So buckle up as we continue our cosmic journey. Welcome to Venus, the second planet from the Sun, often called Earth's evil twin. But what makes Venus so nefarious? Well, it all starts with its thick, toxic atmosphere. This cloak of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid makes Venus the hottest planet in our solar system. Even though Venus isn't the closest planet to the Sun, its surface temperature can reach an astonishing 870 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt lead. But the heat isn't the only thing you'd have to worry about. Venus's atmosphere is so dense that it creates a pressure at the surface more than 92 times that of Earth. To put that into perspective, it's like being a kilometer deep in Earth's oceans. Not exactly a vacation spot, is it? Despite the inhospitable conditions, there's a certain beauty to Venus. The planet's slow rotation, so slow in fact that a Venusian day lasts longer than a Venusian year, causes unique cloud formations. These clouds whirl around the planet at high speeds creating a stunning if deadly spectacle. Venus also boasts more volcanoes than any other planet in our solar system. With over 1,600 volcanoes dotting its surface, Venus is a hotbed of geological activity. However, it's still a mystery whether these volcanoes are currently active. What's more, Venus's rotation is unlike any other planets. Venus rotates in the opposite direction from most other planets, including Earth. This means that on Venus the Sun rises in the west and sets in the east. Talk about a topsy-turvy world. Despite its nickname, Venus provides invaluable insights into how greenhouse gases can heat up a planet, offering a cautionary tale for Earth. It's a stark reminder of the delicate balance that keeps our home planet habitable. Now, let's head to a planet that's a little more familiar to us. Here we are on Earth, the only place in the universe where life is known to exist. Our home Earth is often referred to as the Blue Planet. But what makes it so unique, so special? Well, it's a combination of factors that, when put together, create a perfect environment for life as we know it. Firstly, our atmosphere is a life-supporting cocktail of gases, predominantly nitrogen and oxygen, with traces of argon, carbon dioxide and others. It acts as a protective blanket, 
shielding us from harmful solar radiation, maintaining temperature balance and providing the air we breathe. Quite literally, it's our lifeline. Now take a moment to think about water. It's everywhere on Earth, in its solid, liquid and gaseous forms. Covering more than 70% of our planet's surface, water is a vital ingredient for life. It's in every cell of every organism. It's the medium in which all biochemical reactions occur. And it's the reason why Earth appears blue from space. The diversity of ecosystems on Earth is truly astounding. From the scorching deserts to the freezing polar regions, from the deepest ocean trenches to the highest mountain peaks, life has adapted to thrive in a wide range of conditions. This diversity is not just beautiful, but also crucial for our survival. Every organism, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, plays a role in maintaining the delicate balance of life on Earth. Let's not forget our companion in space, the Moon. It's more than just a pretty sight in the night sky, it stabilizes Earth's tilt, giving us predictable seasons, and its gravitational pull drives the tides on our planet. And then there's Earth's magnetic field, our planet's invisible shield. Generated by the movement of molten iron within Earth's outer core, it protects us from solar winds and cosmic radiation, ensuring life can thrive. From the blue planet we now move on to the red one. Next up is Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, and the second smallest in our solar system. Mars, often referred to as the Red Planet, is a world of wonders. Its reddish appearance, which is a result of iron oxide or rust on its surface, makes it stand out in the night sky. But the wonders of Mars don't stop there. The planet is home to the largest volcano and the deepest, longest canyon in the solar system. Olympus Mons, the giant volcano, stands at nearly three times the height of Mount Everest. The Valles Marineris Canyon system, on the other hand, stretches as long as the United States is wide. Mars also boasts polar ice caps similar to Earth's made from water and carbon dioxide. Despite having a thin and cold atmosphere, the quest for signs of life on Mars continues, fueling our fascination with this intriguing planet. From the rocky terrains of Mars, we move on to the biggest planet in our solar system. Welcome to Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. A celestial behemoth, Jupiter is so immense that over 1,000 Earths could fit within its boundaries. Imagine that, a planet so colossal it could hold all of us and then some over a thousand times over. But Jupiter's size isn't its only impressive feature. You see, unlike Earth, Jupiter is a gas giant, primarily composed of hydrogen and helium. Much like our Sun, it's a swirling, turbulent world of colorful clouds and hurricane-like storms. And speaking of storms, let's talk about the Great Red Spot, Jupiter's most recognizable feature. This massive storm, larger than the Earth itself, has been raging on Jupiter's surface for at least 300 years. It's a perpetual cyclone, a whirl of winds and gusts that never seems to end. But Jupiter isn't just a giant ball of gas and storms. It also boasts an incredibly powerful magnetosphere, the area around a planet that's controlled by its magnetic field. Jupiter's magnetosphere is the largest in our solar system, extending millions of miles behind the planet. It's so powerful in fact that it helps create stunning auroras, much like the northern and southern lights here on Earth. And we can't forget about Jupiter's moons. With 79 known moons, Jupiter is like a mini solar system in its own right. And among these moons is Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system. Ganymede is even bigger than the planet Mercury. As we explore Jupiter, we're reminded of the sheer scale and majesty of our solar system, from its swirling storms to its powerful magnetosphere, from its many moons to its massive size, Jupiter truly embodies the awe-inspiring nature of the cosmos. From the gas giant we move on to its icy counterpart. Next, we have Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun, known for its stunning rings. This celestial body is a wonder to behold, not just for its iconic rings, but also for its intriguing features that make it a standout in our solar system. Saturn, often referred to as the jewel of the solar system, is a gas giant like Jupiter. However, it's lighter, despite being nearly as large. It's mostly made up of hydrogen and helium with a core of rock and metal. This composition gives Saturn a lower density compared to all the other planets. Believe it or not, if you could find a bathtub big enough, Saturn would float. But what really makes Saturn a sight to behold are its breathtaking rings. These rings span up to 280,000 kilometers but are only about one kilometer thick. They're composed of countless chunks of ice and rock, ranging from tiny grains to massive boulders. These particles orbit Saturn, creating a dazzling display that can be seen from Earth with the help of a telescope. Saturn's splendors don't stop at its rings. 
The planet is also host to a large family of moons, with more than 80 known moons to date. Among these, Titan stands out. Titan is the second largest moon in our solar system, even bigger than the planet Mercury. It's the only moon known to have a dense atmosphere and stable bodies of surface liquid, making it a fascinating subject for scientists. Saturn's role in our understanding of the solar system is immense. From its unique rings to its intriguing moons, it continues to offer insights into the formation and evolution of planetary systems. It's a testament to the incredible diversity and complexity of the universe we inhabit. From the ringed beauty, let's move on to the icy worlds of Uranus and Neptune. Last but not least, meet Uranus and Neptune, the ice giants of our solar system. These twin behemoths are known for their distinct blue hue, a result of the methane in their atmospheres that absorbs red light and reflects blue. But don't let their serene color fool you, these planets are anything but calm. First up is Uranus. Unlike its fellow planets Uranus spins on its side with its axis almost parallel to its orbit. This unique tilt gives Uranus extreme seasons, with each lasting a whopping 21 Earth years. Imagine one season for more than two decades. Uranus is also home to a thin set of rings and a staggering 27 known moons. Next, we encounter Neptune, the furthest planet from the Sun in our solar system. Don't let its distance fool you though. Neptune is a world of extreme weather, with the fastest winds in the solar system, reaching speeds of over 1,000 miles per hour. That's faster than the speed of sound on Earth. Neptune also has a system of faint rings and at least 14 known moons. The largest of these, Triton, is gradually spiraling inward and will eventually be torn apart by Neptune's gravity. But what makes these giants icy? It's their composition. Uranus and Neptune contain a higher proportion of ices, substances like water, ammonia, and methane, compared to the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. These ices give the ice giants their name and contribute to their unique blue color. From the sideways spin of Uranus to the extreme winds of Neptune, the ice giants of our solar system are as fascinating as they are distant. They remind us of the sheer diversity and wonder that exists within our cosmic neighborhood. From the far reaches of Neptune, we end our tour of the solar system. Our journey through the solar system has been nothing short of extraordinary. We have ventured from the swift Mercury to the fiery Venus, from our home, the blue planet, to the dusty plains of Mars. We've marveled at the stormy Jupiter, admired the rings of Saturn, and gazed upon the icy giants, Uranus and Neptune. Each planet, a world of its own, with unique characteristics and moons that add to their charm. Our solar system is a cosmic marvel, a testament to the diversity and beauty that exists in the universe. Each planet, each moon, each comet and asteroid, tells a story of cosmic evolution and celestial mechanics. Together they form a symphony of celestial objects, dancing to the tune of gravity. As we gaze upon these celestial bodies we are reminded of our small place in this vast cosmic arena. Until next time keep exploring, keep learning and keep looking up.